In a cramped room at her party's headquarters, Moldova's next president acknowledged her win. It was a decisive majority for Maya Sandu, who now becomes the first woman ever to lead this country. The pro-Western candidate laid out her plans, which sees Moldova forging closer ties with Europe. And despite the optimism, it is a huge responsibility that lies ahead. Now the most difficult part comes. It was not easy to win the elections. It's going to be more difficult to uh, implement uh, the commitments that I've made. After a resounding victory, Maya Sandu will have her work cut out for her. Endemic corruption, political instability and economic hardship have all contributed to making Moldova one of the poorest countries in Europe. And she will also be overseeing a parliament that is stacked against her. The party that backed the incumbent Igor Dodon, the socialists, have the majority in parliament. They supported his vision to keep Moldova firmly within Moscow's sphere of influence but not one that found favour with the electorate. Even Dodon had to concede the last thing that was needed was instability. I'm not calling for people to take to the streets. We don't need destabilisation. The situation is already difficult. Crucial to the results was the diaspora vote. A lack of job opportunity at home has driven hundreds of thousands of Moldovans to go abroad for work. 93% of them voted for Sandu. As Moldova enters a new phase, it will require cooperation with its neighbours to open its economy and tackle corruption, encouraging Moldovans to stay by creating new opportunities that will be a large part of that, as well as guaranteeing transparency in an ex-Soviet nation that is still living in the shadow of its past. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Chisinau.